Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad and in this video we're going to quickly cover the different types of batteries and which type of battery might be best for you in your trailer or in the back of your vehicle when you're over landing or camping. The first type of battery, which is the least expensive battery, would be the AGM or lead acid battery. While the AGM deep cycle lead acid battery might be the least expensive, is it the best one for you? Or should you look at lithium or lithium ion phosphate, or better known as LFP batteries? Each of them have their pros and their cons. And we'll quickly cover them, not all of them, but maybe this will help you decide which battery is best for you, and I'll tell you which ones I chose to go with as well. First are AGM batteries. They are the least expensive, normally, but they have some drawbacks. While they are cheaper, they also weigh about 70 pounds a piece, and they only can be discharged about half their capacity. So in a 100 amp hour battery, you only get about 50 amp hours out of it. Next, we have lithium batteries. While lithium batteries have the ability to pull down to 0% capacity, they do have some drawbacks. How many cycles you can charge on them? Meaning, after about 500 cycles of discharge and charge, you only get about 80% of the capacity of the battery. Lastly, you have lithium ion phosphate or LFP batteries. These batteries might be a little more pricey, but they also offer you the ability to discharge down to 0%. And they give you three to 5,000 cycles before 80% capacity. That's pretty awesome. However, with LFP batteries, they have one thing they don't like, and that's cold weather. You can't charge them below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. In order to charge them, you need to either get self-heating batteries, or you need to wrap some heating pads around them so you can get them warm enough, or you can actually put a charge into them. When looking for LFP batteries, make sure you look for one that has low temperature cutoff. That way, when you're charging in we're trying to charge in the wintertime when it drops below the temperature that it likes, it'll stop charging to protect the battery from damage. Originally in my trailer back here, I had two 100 amp hour AGM batteries for a total of 200 amp hours out of LinkedIn Parallel. While this was good enough for smaller trips, anything more than about a two days off the grid, I was running out of power and my fridge was starting to shut off and I wasn't able to use the heater in the winter. So I recently upgraded to these Wheeze batteries. I think I'm saying right. Why is Wheeze? Anyway, these batteries here. And the cool thing with these batteries is they are LFP or lithium iron phosphate. They also have a self heating function. So when it gets below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, they start heating themselves before they start letting them charge. So these truly are four season batteries that can use in the summertime and the wintertime. One of the features of the LFP battery is its weight. It weighs about half the weight of the AGM battery, which is around 60 pounds. These guys are around 25, 26 pounds. While well, the type of battery you choose for your off-grid situation is up to you, I'd highly recommend looking at the self-heating LFP batteries as they're a great option. They weigh a lot less, you get all the capacity, and you can use them on all four seasons. I'll make sure to post again on a, a short-term and a long-term review to let you know how they're holding up. One more quick comment. I did pay for these batteries with my own money. If you use the link down in the description, I'll give you free shipping and it'll help support the channel. And if you look closely back here, you can see I did mount some solar panels to the roof. I'll get into that in a future video. So if that kind of stuff interests you, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.